so that is way better than it was doing earlier. So it's not up. Oh, Welcome back, my little feral friends and family. We are back in my laundry room picking up where we left off. We need to get this finished so that I feel better about my life. Like there's really no other pressing reason for it. I just want to actually stink and do it. Sweet potato. She's the cutest cat, isn't she? Okay, so today I am wearing real pants, which is a wild and bold decision, but I do have to leave the house. We have a homeschool meetup today, and I have a little bit of time before we head out, so I decided to pop in here and see what I can get accomplished. I'm just going to, first thing I'm doing, I guess, is I'm just picking up little bits of trash that I can find and throwing them away, as you do with trash. And I want to, I don't know, get stuff done. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that thought. That thought started and then promptly stopped. There was nothing following that. Sorry, guys. Okay, so in the first video where I started the laundry room, it was really bad, really gross. The litter water situation was a big deal. Just so you know, a few days actually has passed. This isn't the next day where I just go right back at it. It's been a couple and I had a lot of good days in a row and so I'm like yes let's get in here let's do it and I I'm like I felt great so let's deep clean so what I want to do is organize inside these cabinets like I talked about before because look at how it's really everything's stuffed to the front these trays these three trays in here I feel are really limiting what I can put in there um so yeah, let's just get these out and organize it. What the thought was that I was going to say before I got distracted by the fact that I'm emptying my cabinets is somebody made a comment about how I was talking about how my laundry room is like a linchpin room. It's the the keystone room. It's the one that once that goes downhill, I feel like laundry room goes downhill, then I stop doing... Um, I stopped bringing my laundry into the laundry room because I'm not going to go in my laundry room and do laundry. So then the bathroom laundry gets overfilled. So I stopped like dumping my clothes in the bathroom and instead I am leaving them in the bedroom. Then I don't make the bed because there's so much stuff on the floor anyways. Why make the bed? And it just keeps going. The kitchen's its own beast. That thing is spiraling all on its own. So we that's its own thing. But for the remainder of the house, it's it's got to be the laundry room. Anyway, somebody left a comment saying that they felt very similar and either they or their daughter, I can't exactly remember, made their laundry room beautiful and like a pleasure to be in. And so that really stuck with me and I want to see if that works. Let's see if I can make my laundry room a pleasure to be in and then my whole life, my whole personality, everything that I have ever been will abruptly change for the better and I will solve all of the world's issues. In the meantime of solving the issues, after cleaning out the cabinet, I noticed my heart rate being kind of a jerk. So there's a huge chunk in here where I'm making you guys watch me watch my heart. <laughs> I don't know. I would, this is both the cleaning and the organizing of life and also the what the heck's going on with Beth's heart journey which is good because it's an interesting side plot that isn't me divorcing my husband like the content prompts are always trying to get me to do. Okay, so watch this. I left this in for you. Forty-four, 
137. Thanks, Calvin. 133. 123. I could drop 10 points just then. volume on this is terrible. I'm sorry. 112. Hey, baby girl. No, there's nothing for you right here. Go away. I did have half a cup of coffee. Can't imagine half a cup of coffee's doing this. This was not the video I was gonna make. Okay, 111. I don't know if you guys can see that. 111, I feel like that's reasonable. 114. I'm gonna wipe these out again. I'm gonna squat down and wipe these out again. Oh, 120, shoot, hold on. I got too excited about it. I already ate. So it's not food. I drank plenty of water this morning. I'm not de dehydrated. Madam, you do not need to be attacking Reeves. That is poor behavior. than it was doing earlier. So it's not, oh, fuck, Jeff. Hmm. Can you see that it says 105 one minute ago? Well, now you can't. slower to change than this one. I also compared this against the hospital one and it's the same. So they're both 126, 125, 124, 121, and now this is 124, 123. Hi baby girl. So they're syncing up. Let's get me back down to under 110.
plus 110. Hi, Begonia. Hi. Oh, I might be out of frame because I zoomed back in. Sorry, guys. Okay, 100. 101, 99. Okay, not so bad on this stand up. Me succeeding. This one's dropping rapidly to 110, 11. Okay. So, I want to put clean products on the top, I believe. 116, okay. Let's do pine salt in the back because I don't use pine salt. The pink stuff can be kind of towards the front. You know what I need in here? Oh, it's up there now. 94, 91. Okay. Um, this can go to the very back on the bottom because it's heavy. Oops. And it's not frequently used. I'm going to stop talking to you guys. I'll do voiceover from here on out. Okay, so my favorite part about showing you guys all that is that I didn't have to do voiceover, so it's less work for me. Win-win. Um, I monitor my heart rate through the rest of this, and it is kind of being a giant butt. Uh, I do take several breaks during this and I go sit down and at one point I go take my kids to the events and come back and clean, but I, I genuinely don't remember when, what happens. So it does look a little bit more seamless, but there are sporadic breaks in here and I'm just trying to make sure everything's okay. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. We are still working on it. We are I'm constantly checking. I have my little clip on matching it with my, my watch and it's just a really good time for us all. I love this. And after taking out those trays, there's so much space in my cabinets. I love this. It worked out really well for me. Not only that, but I found that if you look in the bottom corner, there is a huge like graduated cylinder tubby thing. I found that I was using it to help bathe the dogs, but that is now the new giant litter scoop. Oh, to talk about the giant litter scoop. Okay, so I have this really big litter box and it does take up a lot of space, but it is protecting from the dogs being able to get into the litter. It has two entries and Leroy is the number one. He wants it. He wants it so badly. So I bought this so he could not get into the cat litter and just eat everything. And I love it. I don't mind that it takes up so much space in the laundry room, to be honest. If I keep other things off the floor, it doesn't matter to me. It's really fine. And it's a little distorted here because you're zoomed out because my laundry room is rather narrow and it's hard to get a good angle in here. Anyway, with adding the litter into a bucket and having the twins scoop it out, we basically solved the litter water dish situation. It's it's not a problem anymore. Well, it has been, we'll check back in a few days. And so I think I don't need to separate the water and the litter box. I think the two things combined are fine. Now, I wanted to do under the what is that? Sink? Yeah, that's a sink. Under the sink. And I'm still trying so hard to get rid of the last of Beauty's bag of dog food. So annoyed with it. And I had my son take out the trash that was in the last dog food bag. And so now I need a new trash bag and I'm going to use the dog food bag because I like using things like that. I overfill. That lid doesn't shut. And this 
the remainder, that's not very much dog food. It will be fine. We'll go through it before it goes too stale. And honestly, I don't know that beauty cares about stale food in any form. She just really enjoys the idea that food happens for her. All right. Under here, lots of miscellaneous things. This I'm getting rid of. I bought it because I thought I would want to carry my cleaning projects from spot to spot, but now for some reason, suddenly there's two of them. One is in the girl's bathroom and one is right there. I'm going to donate that. It's going to go to Goodwill. It just takes up so much space for absolutely no use. And under here, honestly, there's not that much stuff under my sink. It tends to be larger items. So it wasn't too hard to empty out or anything like that. Oh, and my heart is deeply enjoying me squatting and deeply loathing me standing up. I know what everybody's going to suggest. They're going to be like, ooh, it's pots. It's not pots. It can't be pots. Pots is too stinking trendy. It is what Instagram lives on. And I am not like other girls. I am going to pit like my whole personality and everything hinges on being not like other girls because that's like my favorite personality traits is when we all pretend like that. Um, no, I'm just kidding guys. But for some reason, it just, it is so trendy that I'm like, what if? Or the other thing is, is what if it's not trendy on Instagram reels, but Instagram discovered that I had it and has just been serving it to me nonstop. Like girl, this is what you have. Could you please pay attention to us for a moment in your life? And I was just ignoring the science because I do have curly hair and Instagram was telling me that basically nonstop and it knew before I knew. Algorithms know things about us, guys. So yeah, maybe it's just the algorithm diagnosing me and we'll see how that goes. I am also getting a lot of zombie apocalypse content. So I think it's all coming together, guys. We don't really need doctors. We just need to go on Instagram Reels and figure out what's going on with our lives. Perfect. Solved it. Okay. I think I am still organizing at this point. But I think I'm on the tipping point of organizing where I'm like, okay, yeah, I definitely remember. I'm not organizing. Now the goal is to get it done and pretty and not squat down if possible. So things, those drawers, they're bad. I need to organize them with an urgency. But I'm not going to do it because I just want to have a organized, clean, pretty laundry room. And we're just not going to look in the drawers. We're going to ignore them and that's fine. So whatever I can stuff in the drawers, we stuff in the drawers and it's working. In general, that top drawer is for dog medicine and dog related items. The middle drawer is kind of a utility drunk drawer. So like batteries and the three millimeter, like the sticking on the wall, hangy things and just utility kind of stuff. And the bottom is more rags and the Bona mopping pads and stuff like that. So that's like the vibe I usually have. And so I am stuffing in drawers following that pattern, but those drawers are not organized. There's no, no semblance of that. All right, we need to refill the dog treats. I had to buy more doggy treats. And this, if they don't hold, because these dog bones are huge, so they don't hold a ton of dog bones. But if I'm handing out the treats, like recently, so my husband's been gone for the past two weeks. And so I have just been trying to not let my heart explode while he was gone, because I feel like that would be pretty inconvenient. He was in Alabama again for two weeks. And that's just, that's a long commute for emergencies. And so we've just been kind of relaxed and chill and doing really low effort things. 
Um, so he's been gone. So those dog treats are lasting twice as long because I split the giant dog bones in half and give half to Leroy, half to Beauty. But if left to my husband's devices, he gives Beauty a whole one. Don't worry, I'm not trying not to cry here, guys. I am fine. I am fine with this. I'm not frustrated. I am enjoying all of this. And so what you're seeing here is somebody who is very pleased and satisfied with her current conditions and all of that. Don't worry. Everything's great. Um, yeah. Okay. Also, these dog lids, the gamma lids, they're not dog lids. They're gamma lids. The seal on two of them have come off. So I have to discover which ones lost their seals and add them back on because these, I don't know how they keep popping off, but I feel like they're everywhere all of the time. There's only two of them, but they're in every room every time I enter the room and they follow me around the house. So I'm finally putting them back so that they can stop stalking me. Oh, and because I filled the dog treats and am messing with the dog food, everybody is here to observe me. I don't know who bumped the camera just then, but everybody is hanging out like, yes, yes, what are we doing? And so I think I was talking about something else when I was shooing them, but there is a lot of shooing going on in this video. And like the depression they had when they realized I was not actually going to feed them. But they had such, okay, I also bought beef tendon, dried beef tendon for the littler dogs. And I bought beef knuckles, like huge knee knuckles for beauty because I just want them to spend more time chewing and not just horking down food. So I gave that to them earlier today for, I rarely give it to them. And so they had their morning treats, their morning food, the special super duper treats. And they're still like, yes, can I have something else? Little buttheads. I decided the waters are not allowed to be in the laundry room because that's not cute. And I'm just obsessively checking. Sorry, guys. I continuously look at my watch for the rest of the day. And it's so annoying because when I do go sit down, it goes down immediately. The frustration. And then so I'm Googling like, okay, how do you treat pots? Like I'm not going to do anything until... Oh, sorry. Um, I went to my storage unit and got some more fall stuff out. That way I could decorate in here and we're gonna do fall vibes in here, just like we do out there. And yes, I will rotate through decor in my laundry room. It's fine. Um, I do really, I'm sorry, I smacked my lips, guys. That's probably annoying. This is the tray that is usually in my kitchen and I thought it would go well in here. And also I, hated where I stored it in a closet. So working out. So the storage unit I have, I really enjoy. Um, you can put as much stuff as you want into there and they only charge you when you take stuff out. It's, a, it's revolutionary, I believe. Um, also, if you do take stuff out, they charge you for it and you're not allowed to restore it there. So, you know, it's, it's interesting to me. I like it. They're storing a lot more stuff for me right now. I'm sure if I go back there, I will, you know, get some. Oh, sneezed. Gross. Also, they package stuff up nicely for you to take out. I really enjoy that. Okay, so I left the label on that candle because I felt if I rotated it enough, it looked cute like that. We'll see. And now we're using our feet to pick things up because I'm not bending over unless I absolutely have to. I figure I'm going to be fine if I just stay standing for the rest of my life. And that's what we shall do. Okay, so the back side, if you will, is done. Uh, the I think it looks really cute over there. The washer dryer has their stuff. The 
the sorting bin that's behind it, that looks fine. So we just need to clean off the top counter. And I am, I know I just cleaned out underneath, but I am just kind of cramming stuff in there because I'm over it. I want it to look pretty and I am not going to bend down or organize. It, it switched to low effort. I don't, that coffee mug thing, I don't need it. Where, I, I should donate it. I shouldn't, I should guys. If I remember, I'm going to pull it out from underneath the sink and take it to Goodwill because it's been under there for a year. It's brown where all the other stuff in my kitchen is black and I'm not storing coffee mugs in my laundry room. I don't need that in my life. So, okay. We will definitely maybe not remember that, but we could, who knows? I wish you guys could see better. It had, it was a lot dirtier up here. There was a lot more dust and dog hair that manages to get in the sky and settle. And I'm really happy I wiped off the back. It was a lot grosser than you guys can tell. And it looks way better now. I kept taking my dry rag and accidentally sticking it under the water. I kept getting mad about that. And I was like, God, why did I do that? There's a wet rag and there's a dry rag. All right, I just rinsed these off. Didn't care if they dried or not. And that looks way better. There's a little black thing right next to the pink cleaner. I, You guys can see it probably, that little black thing. I don't know what it goes to, but it feels important. So I'm I'm keeping it like I didn't throw it away and I just keep moving it from spot to spot. It looks somewhat familiar, but I have no idea what it goes to. I want to switch out this sink because look at this. It's so the, um, what is it called? The spout? It's not a spout. What is that called guys? It's not a shower head because I'm not going to shower with it. The sink head, that thing, the faucet, faucet, it is like obviously clogged up and has terrible water pressure and the water just kind of like casually falls out of it. Maybe I can soak it and get like some hard water off of it. I'll try that before we try swapping it out. But it is literally the worst and it screams. It has a very high pitched scream when you try to run the water. I'm glad I cut out the sound for you here. It would just be awful for everyone. Okay, and then I do hit you with that, but you're in my way. So maybe if you weren't in my way, I wouldn't hit you with litter. That's on you guys. That's not me. I really do enjoy the edits when I slightly close a door and then I reopen it. I cut out all of the time I'm behind the door, but it looks like I just barely peek back behind the doors and keep going on with my life. Here I'm like, okay, how do we get the dirt off the floor without squatting? And I consider calling one of my kids to make them do it. Um, but I do just, I'm like, okay, I can squat for half a second. Oh, big sigh. And then you'll see, I immediately check my watch to see. Like, am I okay? I squatted down for half a second. This I'm very proud of. Not only do I open it with the, my foot, I sort through, grab this specific floor mop pad that I want, and pulled it out. I love, and I love that I'm just able to simply put things away now in the cabinets instead of fighting to shove things in or trying to rearrange. There was a spot for that pink cleaner. I still can't find my tile floor cleaner, so I'm just using the Sam's Club brands.
and then I do back up. I clean the rest of this floor, but unfortunately it's just you staring at my back. So I clip it out. Okay, more stuff for my storage unit. I really like the colors of this. It's not a wreath. What is this? Like, yes, a wreath comes up later, but this garland, I really, really enjoy the color pattern of it. And what I was trying to do was harmonize the patterns and colors. I didn't want it to be super duper matchy, but I love the runner that I put over my washer dryer. It is the one that is in my kitchen as well. It looks really pretty and there's not a ton of blues in it, but there's just enough of a greenish blue that I could get away with this garland and this wreath, which obviously those match. So of course they're going to go together. And then I intentionally got that pumpkin back there to be a similar tone because these rugs are heavy in that bluish color. Um, so I feel like even though the rug is a slightly different pattern than what's going on in my runner back there, it looks decent. Also, I rediscover the rag, the rag that I stuffed under there that I didn't think I was going to get for months and months. And I can't get it out with my foot and I can't get the rug to go where I need it to without getting it out. So I bent over. Um, now I do need rug stays, like the little stoppers to go under these because I went in the laundry room this morning to get dog treats and you slide, you slide aggressively if you step on that rug on the tile. I was so proud, like putting that little blue leaf back made me so happy. What doesn't make me happy is well, hitting you guys obviously makes me happy. So I hit you with the litter yet again. Not my fault, your fault for being there. Um, what I don't like is all of the stuff on top of the litter box. It's dumb. It looks too storagey, not enough cutesy, you know, if you will. So I'm trying to get the litter over to the side of that kitten thing. Oh my gosh, I have another idea. I can switch the water to be more in front of the litter box because the cats carry out the litter more. I don't know. Anyways, I put the litter on the side that the litter box actually is for the girls to easily scoop. Um, and now I am thinking about the top of this. I wondered if I could stack everything in front of the door. Oh, that was not a heart rate situation. That was the VA medical system calling me. And I thought they were calling me to be like, do you want to go to cardio? But it wasn't. It was just to confirm two appointments tomorrow, uh, next week. So that's a bummer. Um, they did. I did a blood draw and they missed two of the things they were supposed to draw for, which is fine. But according to my blood draw, my vitamin D is now really good. It's 69. <laughs> um, my vitamin B, or is it just B12? That is exceptional. And also I'm not anemic. So that's not fun. Um, so I'm going to go in, they're going to do a blood pressure check. And also they are going to draw the two labs that they've missed. I think one might be thyroid, but I'm not certain. Okay. I am looking for the sticky, the wall hangy stickies, the 3M. And you can see, look at all that stuff. I really wanted to sort that drawer, but I didn't. And then I remembered we redid my bedroom and I checked my husband's nightstands and I found the picture stickies because, you know, you keep them in nightstands. Okay, there are hooks on the back. If you're going to hang your pictures with these little stickies, which I want to because I do want to swap it out seasonally. And I'm going to see if it's as easy as I think it is. Or am I going to peel off paint and chunks of drywall? It's a fun little experiment. So you have to take off where the screws would hang so that this can lie flat. 
and I sped it up for you guys. The first several I put on backwards and then got really mad about it and I had to peel those off and now we're putting them on the correct way. And these felt super flimsy, so I added a ton of them. I thought if I add a billion, they will all share the load and the picture won't fall off the wall. But I also do fully anticipate this picture falling off the wall and scaring the living crap out of me in the middle of the night. Luckily, my husband comes home today, and so he will go check what that noise was, and I will just see if he dies. All right, the last little bit's off. This is so hard to do with stupid acrylic nails. I don't know how people accomplish anything in their lives with longer acrylic nails. Mine are relatively short and I barely function. But I am using a level because I am a professional and it is level. And it stayed. So that is stinking thrilling. And I don't put the level back in my husband's toolbox. I hide it from him because I like to give him fun little treasure hunts. Okay. So here's what we got accomplished. It took us two videos, like a week, but now I have a clean laundry room and I feel like it does have really beautiful vibes to it. I, that garland kind of looks kind of wonky. I might have to readjust it, but this is adorable. I love that. It's so cute. I love that sign. It's been speaking to me for weeks now and I finally buckled and got it out of storage. I love this wreath. And I feel like it just did a really beautiful, good job. And maybe eventually I will do laundry once again.